If you're a beginner photographer, this is probably the video for you, especially if you're looking to get into fashion photography, not just like portrait photography, but fashion photography specifically, because I'm just gonna give it to you. These are the settings that I use most commonly whenever I photograph fashion, even advertising stuff, like commercial work, even if it's not specifically fashion oriented. This could be commercial portraiture, environmental portraits, stuff like that. And the, I'm gonna give you just the three settings. Usually I'll shoot with strobe lights as opposed to hot lights, continuous lights, stuff like that. Sometimes I'll use continuous lights, especially if we're shooting video at the same time. I'll just keep it the same across the board. First thing is ISO, ISO, exposure index, whatever you wanna call it. I keep that, I try to keep it at what my camera's native ISO is. Look up your camera model, look up what its native ISO is because I know we always wanna keep the ISO as low as possible, but actually each camera has an ISO that's best for it. This is your native ISO. For my particular camera, the native ISO is 400. So I always try to shoot at 400 unless I have to push it in low light scenarios or stuff like that. Or I don't know if I'm looking for like an effect, but usually I'll just add grain after, pardon me. I'll usually add grain after the fact if that's the case. So instead, I'll just keep it at 400. I try not to go lower than that, although you can if it's really bright out, but I just keep it at 400. Then my shutter speed, I will usually keep at 160th because that is the highest flash sync speed that my camera has. Different cameras will have different ones. Some might be 200 of a second or like 125th, let's say. In and around there is where most modern digital cameras are. And if you have it higher than that, then your flash is gonna get cut off and you'll have part of your photo dark or just not lit. Or you can go into high speed sync, but that does decrease the actual output of your flash. So just keep it at that and let your flashes do the whole freezing of motion because the flash is only on for a fraction of a second. Therefore, it's able to freeze the motion and you're good in that regard. Then. Lastly, aperture, I try to actually stop down a little bit. This is anywhere, say, between 2.8 and like 5.6. I will usually land at like a 3.6 or a 4, 3.2, something like that, because I want a little more information in the background. I'm not going to be shooting at 1.8. I'm not going to be shooting wide open all the time because I want the information in the background. Also, if I'm photographing clothes, I want to get the detail of whatever the model is wearing. And if you're at 1.2, 1.8, sometimes even 2.8, you start to lose some of that. And I don't want to, because I want to be able to see that. And also my clients want to be able to see that. So we'll usually stop down. Also, most lenses, if you stop down a little bit from being wide open, they will have a sharper image. That's just a weird optical thing. So these are the three settings that I'll use. ISO, base, so for me, ISO 400, 160th of a second, F4, let's call it, for your aperture, and then just supplement with your flash power and light to your scenario. And if I'm shooting outside, if I'm using ambient light, then I'll just try to expose for the ambient light, keeping it as close to these general settings as possible, and then supplement with my lights lighting the same direction that the natural light is coming from, and then just increasing the values and modifying it and filling in shadows from there. So there you go. If you want to be a phot fashion photographer, if you want to know how to take photos like the ones that you've seen me take, then here is how to do it. And if you haven't seen any photos that I've taken, then maybe in the description, check out my website, check out my Instagram. So that way you can see some of the stuff that I do and get to know me. My name's Finn Badgley. I'm a fashion commercial photographer, in addition to a content creator and all that kind of stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing if you haven't already to join along this journey with me. As always, my friends, remember to work hard, rest often, and I'll see you on the next one.